YouTube, this is Chloe. Um, I have a kind of an emergency update. Um, I went to see my doctor for an emergency appointment today because my blood pressure these last couple of days at home on this little machine here have been rather high. Um, I really normally have really low blood pressure, like, I mean, 100 over like 60. And my pulse is usually on the faster end. That's just normal for me. Um, but my pulse recently has been super low, like 50s and 40s. And my blood pressure, the top number has been like 130s and up. And the bottom number is like 180s and up. Um, so yeah, that really sucks. Um, and I, as you guys know, I suffered toxemia, preeclampsia with my daughter. Um, at 38 weeks and two days along, I had a doctor's appointment with her, and they found protein in my urine, but, um, they didn't check me for protein in my urine at 37 weeks, so I could have possibly had it at 37 weeks, but, you know, I wasn't checked for it at that appointment. Um, the nurse forgot, but, um, anyways, at the 38-week point with her, um, I had some protein, just a little bit, I think, and, um, my blood pressure was 125. So they decided to induce me because they, and I was getting a little bit swollen, and they didn't want to take the risk of, um, you know, letting me be pregnant for like another couple of days and taking the risk of something really bad happening. So they did the right thing, you know, they they saved me and my daughter's life. Well, today I went into my doctor's appointment uh, for the emergency appointment, and they checked my um, blood pressure it was at 131, I believe, over 83, and. Um, they made me uh, go and they gave me this little uh, stick or uh, whatever it is, like a little thing I pee on, and it and it shows like how much protein I have. Well, um, I guess there was protein in my urine today, so um, I had high blood pressure and protein in my urine, and um, so yeah, um, I'm not very pleased with the nurse practitioner that I see. Um, she's old and stupid, and I don't like her. And I think she is going to, you know, if it, if I would have listened to her today, I mean, I would not. If I would listen to her today, I would probably die, me and my daughter. Because I, I don't like to cuss, or I don't like to say bad things about other people. But um, when someone is trying to, when someone has the life of my baby in their hands, and they're responsible for the outcome of it. I mean, they shouldn't be stupid. You know, they shouldn't take these things lightly. And when she doesn't even remember who I am or my due date or how far along I am, that kind of makes me angry, you know, because um, I went in there and, I, you know, it's my 36-week appointment as it is. And, you know, she's supposed to check me for dilation. No, she shouldn't do that. She's supposed to, you know, do that strep B test. No, she shouldn't do that. Um, when I mention these things to her, are you going to do these things, she says I'm way ahead of myself. And I'm like, as in how? I'm 36 weeks and two days. And she tells me that I'm like in the beginning of my eighth month. I'm like, what? I'm in the beginning of my eighth month? I'm like, how is that possible? I'm in the beginning of my ninth month. And she goes on her little, her little, I don't know, calendar thingy. And, um, she's, oh, November 9th. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to impersonate her voice, whatever, she says, oh, November 9th, yeah, that would make you 34 weeks, I'm like, no, it would make me 36 weeks in two days, and she, like, looks at me, like, starts to argue with me, no, it would, and I'm like, yes, I'm like, count it, so I get my cell phone out, and I show her, I'm like, no, really, it would make me 36 weeks in two days, yeah, so, even the nurse pointed it out to her, because she wanted me after she knew that I had high blood pressure and protein in my urine, she wanted me to see her in two weeks. No, she didn't want to do no other tests on me. No, that, that's crazy. Oh, and I told her about the pressure I'm having and stuff like that. I have a bladder infection, is what she said. So I had to go to the lab and, and you know, give a urine sample. I did that just to prove her wrong because I know I don't have a bladder infection. I suffered from those a couple years ago, and I know how horrible a bladder infection is, and I would know. Even if it feels different during pregnancy, no, they still, they have to hurt. No, they have to hurt. And I'm not having, I've been pregnant twice before, and it's the same kind of pressure. The baby's pushing down. Yeah, so, um, anyways, um, she made me, after I had the high blood pressure, 
reading, she made me go in a room and sit down for five minutes, and uh, she had some other lady take my blood pressure. The lady did not hold my arm. She made me stand up. She put it on my right arm. Usually I always get it on the left. And I'm standing up, and my arm's just dangling down, which is not the way you're supposed to take your blood pressure, but um, whatever. And, um, yeah, it came out to be 118. And I knew that was wrong, because all day hasn't been that low. I'm like, that's weird. I'm like, she, you know, the reading wasn't right, because she wasn't even doing the things that she was supposed to be doing for the reading to be right, like holding my arm and stuff. Um, so, yeah, the nurse practitioner um, said I shouldn't have to go to the hospital now since my blood pressure is going down. But I felt extremely dizzy and I had a horrible migraine today, and that's not like me. I mean, I usually suffered from migraines, but not these last nine months, no. My blood, my headaches have gotten so much better, and I had not had a headache like that in so long. And I knew it was from the protein in my urine, the preeclampsia. I, you know, I mean, I did not have any any protein in my urine for my son because you try to say some pregnancies that's just normal. You you just have protein and it's not preeclampsia. Well, I suffer from preeclampsia with my daughter, and uh, I didn't with my son. So maybe it's just a female thing because the baby's a girl. But, n no, but you know, anyways, um, she wanted to see me in two weeks, and I'm like, no, I'm supposed to see you every week now, because I'm 36 weeks, and I need the test done, all these tests done, and y you need to, like, check me, and she's like, you're way ahead of yourself, no, we don't do that, I'm like, what, you're not going to give me the strep B test? I mean, that's really important, but whatever, um, you know, I talked her into giving me a, a, an appointment in a week, because that's, like, ridiculous, like, I will not... I'll find a different doctor. She's going to, like, neglect me like that. So, yeah, I, I'm supposed to see her on the 21st of October, if I make it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I went and got my urine tested, and I'm supposed to call that tomorrow and find out the results. Ooh -hoo. Anyways, um, yeah, I actually recorded a whole video, but um, that's why it's looking at this, because I actually set my camera down to show you guys um, the reading of my blood pressure because I wanted you guys to see how high it is but um, unfortunately my camera shut off when I set it down because the batteries fell out because my camera is super ghetto and super shitty <laughs> and I have to get a new one but whatever I actually did buy a new camera but I didn't like it so I returned it but um, anyways I went to the hospital my blood pressure is extremely high I have protein in my urine I had blood work done um, I have signs of preeclampsia in my blood work but it's not extremely bad. Um, the, I don't pers I personally think they should have induced me tonight, but they didn't. Um, I'm kind of happy they didn't, and I'm kind of not happy that they didn't, because I'm happy that they didn't, because I'm only 36 weeks and well now it's six in the morning and three days long. But I'm not happy because um, my blood pressure spiked to 170, and I'm scared. And, um, I'm really scared because I think that they're only going to induce me when my blood pressure gets extremely bad and I start stroking out. And, um, how am I supposed to go through normal labor stroking out? How am I supposed to deliver a baby vaginally stroking out? Um, I'm going to have horrible headaches. I'm going to suffer a lot. And, you know, I'm really scared that Savannah might be born a stillbirth because that's what preeclampsia does. If you wait too long, it cuts off the baby's oxygen. It's the placenta that suffering, you know, so it's something to play with, you know, so I'm really freaking out because tonight, um, just the last couple of days my blood pressure has been getting really, really high, and, um, it just keeps getting higher, like, first it will, like, just go, like, you know, like, to the 120s or something, that was kind of high, but it was still normal, you know, that 120s are still normal, um, you know, it'll stay around that. And, you know, then it got up to, like, to the 130s one day, and then, you know, wouldn't go down, and, and, you know, now it's, like, 140s, and sometimes it does get to 130s if I'm, like, super relaxed and calm, but um, now it's, like, in the 150s, 160s, and it's just getting, it's just getting higher, like, 170s at the hospital, I just couldn't believe it, um, so I never saw my blood pressure ever that high, so it's already getting high really fast, so, you know what I mean, it's, it's getting... The preeclampsia is uh, progressing really fast, so I don't know when you know when I'm gonna have to have her. I mean, I already had a horrible headache today, so I might have. Who knows? I might have to go in tomorrow. You know, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it a couple of days. So, 
anyways, um, I'm going to take my blood pressure now and show you guys. I'm going to set my arm down. I don't want to ruin the video, but. I'm going to relax my arm. I'm going to push the button. Nah, that's an error. Damn it. I'm gonna have to sit down, I think. Ouch. And I did not get checked at the hospital for dilation either. How long it takes this time? Watch it be hella low. It makes me look a friggin' liar. Well, hopefully it is low. That make me feel a little better. Hope it is low. Hope it's on air. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's an air. I don't know why it's doing that. But see me for part two. I'm gonna make a part two and um, try to put the calf on better. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I guess um, these next every day is gonna be trying. I think um, as far as this goes. Oh, yeah, my wisdom teeth are coming in. I just on one side of my mouth, and it's really hurting. So it sucks. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Savannah, I, I mean, I would say a week at the longest if my blood pressure keeps spiking like this. If it keeps spiking like this, I mean, I really don't want to have to have her on the 16th because I hate number sixes, but for some reason, you know, like, I might have to go back tomorrow or on the 16th. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can make it till the 17th. I, I mean, that's how iffy this whole thing is. But, um... I'm probably not going to have my computer. I still haven't took it in the back. I have to do that. I don't really want to, but I just want to have the internet, you know, especially right now. I want to look up stuff and research things. Here's my belly, by the way.